welcome guys and today we will be learning how you can connect Django project to MySQL database now in this project in this tutorial I'll be going through how you can create a virtual environment how you can install Django and then how you can create a database and how you can connect to the database using uh, Django so if you have already installed Django you can skip to the part where I do the MySQL things so check out the timestamp below and you can skip there okay so let's get started now i have this project called good project right in here it's empty right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a virtual environment so what i do is i hold shift and then i click right click and i get these options here so you might have something different from here but what you want to do is basically is you just want to open your terminal here all right so or you can just open a terminal anywhere and you can navigate to this directory so here what I do is first of all I create a virtual environment now I'm creating this because this is where you will be installing all your Django and all your Py, uh, MySQL library so you can connect to MySQL all right so this dot means I want to create the virtual environment here itself in this project inside this folder so let me just create the virtual environment as you can see these folders are generated and it's doing some more things now you will be seeing some messages I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the messages here but it will be over pretty quickly it should be am I recording or not okay I am alright so while this is finishing up what I'll do is I'll create a new database okay so it's done okay let's skip to the database part later then now I'll just install one thing you do not directly want to do this python install django what you want to do is you want to activate this virtual environment first so to do that you just do source source scripts and then activate now, as you can see there is this good project coming up here this this means this virtual environment is being used so now what you want to do is you want to install django Okay, it'll be installed quickly. Yeah. Now let's run our Apache and MySQL servers and let's create a new database. Yeah. Are they running? Yeah. So let's let me just reload this because this one is old, so this might have logged out. It hasn't, so let's create good project database project db let me just copy this and i'll go back to my terminal okay this is still installing okay just complete just in time now what you want to do is in this virtual environment our django is installed but in this project we don't have django yet so we want to create a django project right so what you do is uh django What's the command? I forgot. Django admin. Django admin it is, but I'm not sure if there's a space or not. So let's just try it. Django admin start project and project name. Project name is good project. And we want this project to be installed in this directory itself. So let's hit enter. Django project command not found. Do this. There is this dash here. So this is the project and uh, as you can see here this project is created and we have a manage.py also here now what you want to do is you want to go in here and let me open sublime and you want to open this settings file so you can connect this to our database uh, all right initially what you'll see is where was the database part yeah initially you'll see engine is being uh, SQL 3 is being used as engine and name is as the name of base directory we want to remove this we want to use the MySQL engine and we want to give details of our database so you can just copy and paste from the website code series so what you can do is you can just copy this right and the link is in the description below and you just replace this whole database section now what is being done here is okay you'll want to remove this okay so i can just do 
search all this thing hit control h and find that thing okay let me just copy this to find this this character is a search for it and you replace that with this in this whole selection you just go replace all yeah okay this also and we are done okay so okay here also not completely done we have these errors sometimes when you copy and paste from other web websites so i'll work it out and fix this so we don't need a password password is empty but if you have a password put a password there all right let's save this now this is not that is all that is required right so this is very important we need to set up mysql as database engine this is your database name this is your user this is your password and this is your host you might have not local host but your servers ip also here okay my battery is running low need to finish this up quickly now what we need to do is we need to close this open our git bash or open your terminal and you need to install python libraries like this right not python libraries mysql client and let it be installed and yeah once this is installed we can just do our python manage by make migrations but one thing as if this is not installed that might happen in some cases you can just find some useful binaries here and let me just show you what we have here okay and you search for mysql you go down and you'll find a lot of mysql versions mysql client versions here so you can download one according to your uh python and your windows version right see python 3 python 3.7 python 3.9 python 3 all these versions and once you do that what you can do is instead instead of doing mysql client like this you just copy the whole file name of whatever is downloaded like this right make sure this file is in the same directory in which you are running this command from all right once you're done you'll have your mysql uh client installed and then you just do python manage by make migrations and then you do python manage by migrate okay so once the migration is complete we are good to go we just hit python manage by and run server okay guys so i'm not sure why i'm not receiving any messages in this thing if you have any idea let me know but uh, you should be seeing some messages of what is going on what processes are going on but anyway even if i don't see any messages if i try to run this in the default thing as you can see it, sh it shows the install work successfully